I'm now joined by my special guest, Australian writer, intellectual and feminist icon, Jermaine Greer. I've got 20 quid, so she's going to slag the royal family off now. Call it a hunch. Welcome to the show, Jermaine. Thank um, you. I've got wedding people, because I love a wedding. I mean, say what you like about the royals. I just think it's exciting. The sun's shining. They've got a great guest list. It's going to be tremendous fun. But I do feel a bit worried for Meghan Markle, who seems like a nice girl um, from a tough background. And uh, I'm worried that her life's going to become a little bit uh, less enjoyable after this. What do you think? I think she should run for her life. Mm. I think she should grab Harry and get going. Uh, it would have been smart to have actually married in Toronto and sent them a postcard. Yeah. Saying we've done it. Mm. And it's too late now. Um, <laughs> why couldn't she have carried on her acting career? She's been told no more work. Uh, no more work. No more blog. She had a blog that she loved doing. Uh, she's a foodie. Mm. Uh, she loves to talk about food. She's not allowed to eat normal food anymore. She has to only eat swan. <laughs> and guzzle monkey's blood from goblets, bejeweled goblets. I hope not, but it is pretty terrible food in those palaces. The booze is great, but the food's terrible. Have you, have you been to the palace? Yes. And what happened? Uh, we stood around for a very long time. But the nice thing was uh, that I was there to receive a, an award of some sort, and the person who gave it to me was Camilla. Right. And Camilla reminded me that we know each other because we used to go to the same hairdresser when I lived in London, and we used to sometimes be under contiguous dryers, and we oh. would have a chat. And she's so unpretentious. Really? She's sweet and direct and funny. And I'm sick and tired of the male deciding that they'll pay people for horrible pictures of her, um, because this is a woman who deserves to be happy. Is there a way that this couple can get married and that their marriage can be a successful and happy one? Yes, but it will be at somebody's cost. And I think it will be at hers. She will just have to... She has to learn deference. She has to learn who goes before whom. She has to curtsy to other members of the royal family. Do you think um, <laughs> Duke of Edinburgh will attempt to kill her at any point? Yeah. This, is, this is tricky for me because I've got to avoid treason. Right. But I have a sneaking suspicion he's already in the freezer. Who? The Duke of Edinburgh. Because if he decides to cark it now, we've got a real problem. <laughs> Mm. We've got a real clash of a, a, arrangements. Well, you mean if he dies today or tomorrow? Or yesterday. We don't know. We haven't heard a word or seen him. So and he's... where's... But we're going to bloody find out at the wedding unless they're going to stick a fucking cardboard cut out there in the front row. <laughs> he may not be there and they'll tell you that he's not up to it. And what they're really thinking is, if he comes and makes his usual comments about mixed-race people, we have a total disaster Yeah, it could be hands. a real... It could be awful. Um, do you think that the royals would... Do you think, when you say you're careful about being treasonous, which I no, think... No, I've just done it now. I Go think ahead. it is still punishable by hanging. There are a couple of grounds. Do you think the royals would have you, Jermaine Greer, killed? Hanged? Hang, messy hanging women. It's very messy Is hanging it? women. Oh. Their entrails fall out. Thanks, Jermaine. Um, I've learned. <laughs> I'm exhausted I've now. I've learned a great deal. Um, thanks also to my panel: Athena Kublenu, Marit Larwood, and Karen Danjuk. Now, Jermaine and I are going to sing a song for the happy couple. Um, which is also, I happen to know, the Queen's favourite ever record. It's Eddie Grant's Electric Avenue, Meghan and Harry. This piece of cultural appropriation is for you. Take it away. <laughs> now in the street there is violence and a lot of work to be done. No place to hang out, I wash in. And I can't blame all on the sun. Oh, 